This video highlights best practices for donning and doffing your PPM. It is solely intended to give security staff members information to help keep themselves safe and protected from infection in the course of their duties. Always follow your post orders for specific instructions on PPE at your facility. Hello, I'm Ted Sanquist, Manager of Security Training and Compliance for Blackstone Consulting. Your safety is very important to us. Over the next few minutes, we will highlight best practices for donning and doffing your personal protective mask. Additionally, we will discuss the use of an alcohol-based hand rub, inspecting your personal protective mask for serviceability, and finally, care and maintenance of your personal protective mask. In addition to practicing social distancing and wearing a personal protective mask, one of the best ways to keep ourselves healthy and safe is to practice effective hand hygiene. Diligent use of an alcohol-based hand rub throughout the performance of our daily duties keeps us safe. As a general rule, we follow the five moments of hand hygiene for security staff. These are, before you enter the care environment, before donning protective gloves to touch a patient or their belongings, after any exposure to blood or bodily fluids, after doffing protective gloves, and after exiting the patient's care environment. To use an alcohol-based hand rub, follow these steps. First, dispense a teaspoon-sized amount into the palm of your hand. In a vigorous motion, you want to cover the palms of your hands, the backs of your hands, around the thumb, in between the fingers, and the fingernail beds. You want to allow 20 to 30 seconds of vigorous rubbing for the alcohol-based hand rub to effectively kill any contaminant on your skin. Before donning our personal protective mask, we want to inspect it for serviceability each and every time. We'll be looking for visible damage such as a broken strap, a frayed strap, obvious tears or gaps in the seams. If your personal protective mask is found to have compromised straps or other defects, return to your supervisor and request a new mask. To don your mask, ensure the mask fits on the bridge of your nose, below your chin, and that the straps are fully seated behind your ears. Once you have donned your mask, there are a few key comfort considerations. Ensure the mask is seated on the bridge of your nose and below your chin. Ensure that the side straps are positioned at the base of your earlobes. And these masks do not have an anti-fog feature. So if you wear eyeglasses, you may consider using an anti-fog spray or wipe. This is a general use mask similar to a level one or isolation mask found under normal working conditions in our hospitals. While the risk of contamination is low due to social distancing, we still recommend that we avoid touching the outer surface of the mask when doffing. To doff, simply secure the back straps with both hands, slowly pull off of your ears and away from your face. We recommend placing the mask in a resealable plastic bag similar to a Ziploc bag for storage after use. Along with your personal protective mask, you will receive a care instruction card. The care instructions are as follows. Before initial use, your mask should be washed to remove any machine and handling residue. Care option one, handle washing with very hot water and ordinary dishwashing soap that does not contain lotion or moisturizers. Pour very hot water and dishwashing soap into a bucket and immerse the mask. If heavily soiled, consider adding an oxygen cleaner such as OxyClean. Agitate the mask, soak, and rinse thoroughly with clean water and allow it to air dry. Care option two, machine wash in hot water using laundry soap that does not contain fabric softeners. Air dry or machine dry on a warm cycle. If machine drying, consider using a mesh bag to prevent damage to the elastic straps. What you've just watched are the recommended steps for proper hand hygiene, inspecting, donning, and doffing your personal protective masks. These steps should be performed each and every time you deploy your mask. Take the time to follow these steps methodically. You owe it to yourself, to your loved ones, and to those you served. We at National Security Services want to thank you for your service in this time of need. 
The safety of you, our officers, your families, and the members of the community we serve is of paramount importance. Be diligent, be methodical and steadfast in using the protective measures proven to reduce risks. We thank you again for your time and attention.